The BC Soccer Premier League, or BCSPL, was founded in 2011 as a directive of Canada Soccer. Provincial associations were tasked with developing and introducing high-performance, standards-based youth leagues, which are now referred to as development youth leagues. The inaugural season was launched in partnership with the Vancouver Whitecaps, featuring eight founding franchise clubs. These leagues were designed to support male and female players, coaches and referees in the provincial development pathways, targeting the U13 to U18 playing age groups, creating an identification platform to the next levels of competition. In 2018, Canada Soccer introduced a club licensing program featuring its highest designation, the National Youth Club License, which is a requirement of all current and future BCSPL clubs. For the upcoming 2023 season, 13 clubs will participate in the league, with an additional two clubs joining in 2024, creating development opportunities for over 3,000 players in BC. The league currently operates in two phases each season, Phase 1 from late February to mid-June and Phase 2 from early September to November. BC Soccer Director of Development Chris Cerrone outlines the league's role in player development and shares some major initiatives being implemented over the coming year. Yeah, the benefits of the BCSPL for the players are um, it's a development environment, so we're focusing on the individual development of the players, uh, providing technical standards so that they can grow within that environment and ideally progress to higher levels of play. Uh, so those levels that we hope they aspire to is the BC Soccer Provincial Programme, university, semi-professional, professional and ideally national team programming. BC Soccer constantly review the technical standards and the environments that's being provided for the players. Uh, most recently we looked at what age groups we should really focus on and we determined through some hefty collaboration, consultation with the clubs in Canada Soccer that the starting point will be moved from U13 to U14 and the exit point will be moved from U18 to U17 in the near future. The benefits of starting at U14 is that we're encouraging the players to have more time in small-sided formats. So that means we're focusing on the technical development of the player and delaying the tactical development to when they transfer into the 11v11 game. And from a club perspective, it provides a wider pool of players for selection. We also want to focus on delaying early selection because when you select players you also have to deselect players and so we want to make sure that players uh, get to play with their friends uh, get to that one extra year of development and then perhaps that might help with better decisions uh, on selection. The benefits of ending the BCS Bell at the US 17 age group is it allows players that still want to aspire to move into the adult game and have more of a tactical and physical challenge to help with their development. We've also identified players that may not be wanting to aspire as much at those ages and maybe playing U18 youth soccer in the recreational game is something that keeps them in the game longer. Ideally players are put in their appropriate level of play or where they desire so we're trying to grow the recreational transition from U17, U18 into the adult game as well uh, whether that be aspiring to higher levels as we mentioned or if they're playing soccer for life and staying within the game uh, to their older ages. The changes at U14 and U17, we took in lots of factors and considerations. Um, it allows clubs to really pull their resources and focus on a core group of age groups. Uh, the hope is with technical standards that might improve the service that are provided for that age, which are core uh, ages. For the parents, we also take in the financial constraints of the BCSBL and by focusing on a core group of ages that allows the parents to uh, maybe have some flexibility with what they plan to do with their son or daughter prior to the BCSBL or as the exit point of the BCSBL. Yeah, similar to players, we want to provide an opportunity for referees and coaches to uh, aspire to get into the level of play, uh, to progress out of the BCSBL into higher levels again. Uh, there are minimum standards for both the referees and the coaches, so that has some accountability with what they're providing at that level to help the players. But, um, you know, across player, coach and referee, we want to help them develop and progress uh, if they aspire to. Yeah, BC Soccer have been working on a technical service plan uh, that covers player, coach and referee. 
typically we provide technical workshops uh, with the resources that we've developed or are continuing to develop as well as uh, certification clinics and courses for the referees and coaches. With BCSBL and the growth, we've got to make sure that we continue the technical standards where they are and potentially raise them. But with the expansion component, we've got to be real mindful of operational constraints on clubs, operational constraints on the province, as well as the geographical realities as well. So as we move forward in the next few years, we'll be monitoring and assessing, like we do with the technical standards, what the operational requirements might look like. Uh, for the league with expansion in mind. We're really proud and pleased to celebrate that we've had some former players that have gone into professional and national team environments. Uh, in recent years, we've had Julia Grosso and Jordan Heitema uh, getting the gold medal at the Tokyo Olympics. And on the men's side, we've had Joel Waterman that was part of the BCSBL and progressed into university and the CPL. And you know, it was amazing that he got on the roster with the men's national team in Qatar. Um, we've had lots of players progress into university and most recently League One is an area that is a focus for us um, and working with the Whitecaps Youth Academy within the girls and their uh, boys programme there's been lots of players that uh, have come into those environments.